Yeah, today I want to talk about one change you can make, one simple change you can make in the morning that will set you up for the rest of the day um, to where you're feeling more satisfied, you're not as hungry, and you're not having the cravings because I know that's something that I used to deal with a lot. Um, I used to eat, like, I would eat a big bowl of cereal, and it would be like, you know, the, the ones they advertise as healthy cereal, like Raisin Bran or something like that. And Special K, I know there was like a Special K protein, and it had like the dried strawberries in it and stuff. And those things I thought were healthy and that were gonna, they were going to keep me um, full and satisfied. And then... I um, went on a kick for a while that was like a, um, I would do a big bowl of like um, oats, oatmeal, and uh, put like peanut butter in there and um, blueberries. And that was filling, but I still would get hungry um, an hour or two later. And I, I got so tired of that because, you know, I don't want to get to work and then feel like I need to eat again. I, I wanted to just be satisfied and be able to do my job and not worry about food, not worry about, um, you know, having snacks and different things. Like, I just wanted to eat something and be satisfied till lunch. Like, that's what I always um, was trying to achieve, but I, I didn't, like, I couldn't figure out what I could eat to make me full and make me satisfied to where... I didn't have to bring snacks with me and stuff. So let me know if that sounds familiar to you, if you deal with the same thing, like getting hungry or having cravings, you know, even though you just ate an hour or two ago. Because um, that's something I deal, dealt with a lot. And so, you know, do you want to rely on snacking? Do you want to um, have to snack all day or have cravings throughout the day uh, or do you want to go several hours without being hungry without your stomach growling you know without having the cravings let me know um, is this something that you struggle with or is it something that you uh, think about like oh I wish I you know didn't have these cravings all the time or I didn't feel like I had to eat all you know eat snack all the time um, for me yeah, I just, I don't want to have cravings. I don't want to feel like I have to snack all day. I want to feel satisfied um, and not think about it. Like, I have a lot to do. I'm busy. I'm a mom. I've got a business. I want to eat something and go to work and not have to think about it for several hours. So, um, and that may be different for you, and that's fine. Like, some people thrive off of snacking every couple hours um, they enjoy it and that's fine that's that's you and we all are in different places we all have different goals um, you know we all have different health journeys and so that's okay I'm not trying to make you feel guilty or anything hey Angela welcome thank you for watching yes I, I'm the same way I don't want to be hungry all the time and have cravings I want to go hours without being hungry. Um, so, you know, I don't want to make you feel guilty if you do like to snack all day. That's fine. It just, I think it really depends on your health goals and where you're at, you know. Um, so, I think the one thing that we can agree on is we all want to feel satisfied when we eat, right? Like we, after we eat a meal, we want to feel satisfied with that meal. We don't want to feel like, yeah, I just ate that, but now I still feel like I want something. No, you want to eat and feel satisfied. So I think we all can agree on that. And um, I think we all can agree on we don't want to have cravings all day long. Like you don't want to feel like you are craving a certain food all day long or a certain type of food all day long. Um, and the other thing I think we can all agree on is that we want 
we want to improve our health in some some kind of way we all are trying to always get better at that i think you know no matter what your goals are you want to improve your health in some kind of way um and so my solution for that is to switch up what you're eating for breakfast so one simple switch at breakfast time hey caroline hey Thank you. Thank you for popping in. Um, so don't start your day with sugar and carbs. Instead, we need to be filling up on healthy protein and fats. And that is going to take us so much longer, you know, so much farther in our day. It's going to um, set our blood sugar up for the day instead of us um, eating a big bowl of cereal or oatmeal or toast or something like that um, you know when we eat those things it's gonna make our blood sugar spike a lot higher and that's where the cravings come in when your blood sugar has a significant spike in the morning that sets your whole day up for um, crashes you know um, it's like a roller coaster you know and you don't want a big spike roller coaster you want rolling heels like that you want your blood sugar to go up a little bit at breakfast or at each meal but you don't want it to go way up you know um, so the one switch you can make is to switch up what you're eating for breakfast and it doesn't mean you can't have carbohydrates it doesn't mean that you um, have to go on a low carb diet that's all based on your health issues and what your goals are and everything whether you do that or not what I'm saying is everybody can cut out you know the sugar and um, eat less carbs and more protein and fat for breakfast and that will set you up for the rest of the day for good habits the rest of the day um, because when your blood sugar is in a normal range and it's not like way out of range like too high then you're not going to have those cravings you're not going to have um, you're not going to feel unsatisfied with what you're eating you're going to feel full and satisfied and like you can last till your next meal and then I even have some people and I do this a little bit too like it just depends on um, how I'm feeling that day whether I eat breakfast or not like this morning I wasn't hungry because um, yesterday was Memorial Day and we ate um, a bigger dinner um, we grilled out and we ate a bigger dinner and I woke up this morning and I wasn't hungry so I didn't eat I've just been sipping on my water I had a cup of coffee and I'm fine like I'll be fine until lunch probably and I think um, you know that's another thing like we just have to we have to listen to our body like you don't all if you aren't hungry when you wake up you don't need to eat if you are hungry then eat but you really need to listen to your body and I think we get so into um, just the our habits like okay this is my routine so this is what I'm gonna do whether I'm hungry or not and that's not good that's not always good because then we're not listening to what our body needs right so um, we need to we need to listen we need to ask ourselves are we really um, hungry are we listening to our body or um, yeah <laughs> go get your water Angela yes um, are we really hungry for breakfast because if we're not you know maybe we can just take some hard-boiled eggs to work or um, you know make a little breakfast casserole and take that to work and then if you do get hungry it 10 o'clock or so then eat it then you know you don't have to eat it at 7 o'clock just because that's what you normally do so anyway I'm getting a little bit off but I just thought I would throw that in there but my my point is if we can switch what we're eating for breakfast that can set us up for the rest of our day um, so instead of eating you know oatmeal cereal more carb heavy stuff um, let's focus on getting our protein in like 30 grams of protein 
Um, that's what I usually recommend, trying to get at least 30 grams of protein at each meal. But if you're eating only two meals a day instead of three meals a day, then you may need to eat more at that meal. You may, de may need to eat 40 or 50 grams to get the amount of protein that you need. Um, yes, I often eat lunch with my son even if I'm not hungry. Good insight, Caroline. That's a good realization. Um, so you're just eating out of habit probably, and you may not actually be hungry. And I get that. And it's kind of hard when you have a little one because you kind of have to eat when you can with them. Um, so I get that. Um, but so if you, um, if you try to eat more protein in the morning or actually I'd let me not even say in the morning when whenever your first meal is try to get um, at least 30 grams of protein in um, at each meal if you're eating like three three meals a day but if you're only eating like two meals a day then you may need more than that you know um, to get enough protein for your body because your body only holds like 30 grams I think on average 30 grams of protein at one time so your body needs protein it needs you to have protein every day multiple times multiple times a day your body needs protein because it um, it can't store a lot of protein at one time like it does um, fat and carbs it, it doesn't store it um, so anyway, some good, um, sorry you guys, I'm getting a call. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. I should have silenced my phone. Um, so um, some good options for breakfast or, um, you know, your, your first meal of the day are like eggs. That's a go-to for me. Like eggs is like a superfood. It has so much like good protein in it. It has um, vitamins and minerals in it, good fat, everything, everything that we need. And so I really, that's usually my first meal, whether it's for breakfast or lunch or brunch, whatever it is that day. Um, I, I usually do eggs of some kind. And um, you could do like Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has like 12 grams of protein per cup. So that's a great option, you know. Um, you could you could throw nuts in there or seeds and up the protein and up the fats. Um, you could do peanut butter, any nut butters, any nut butters at all. Um, <clears throat> and that's another thing if you're going to do like, if you are going to do like a piece of, um, whole grain toast or Ezekiel bread or something like that, put a nut, put some nut butter on it. And that's going to help um, you lessen, because if you're just doing the carbs by itself and no protein, that's going to make your blood, blood sugar spike more than if you put some protein on that toast, like a nut butter, and it won't spike as much. So that's a tip too. Like um, if you are going to have some carbs, Put some protein with it so your blood sugar spike isn't as um, high as it would be if you just ate the carbs and uh, anyways okay so Greek yogurt is a great option sausage turkey sausage um, bacon nut butters nuts seeds any of that that those are great options for protein in the morning and then um, for healthy fats you can do like um, also nut butters because nut butters are high in protein and fat. So it's a double whammy, you know. Um, you just have to, if you're sensitive to, to different nuts, because I know some people have like peanut allergies or they're more sensitive to like nuts and stuff. So you just have to know what you're sensitive to or not. Um, but yeah, nut butters, avocado. I put avocado on everything like I love it um, so I will make an omelet and put it on my omelet I'll, I'll even eat it on the side sometimes if I just want to do like some uh, scrambled eggs or sunny side up eggs and then I'll put some avocado on the side and then I'll do like some fresh berries like a, a 
raspberries are my favorite. So that's a lot of times what my breakfast is or my brunch or lunch, whatever. Um, and I just feel so full, so satisfied, and I can go hours without eating because I'm, I've nourished my body with things that it can use to fuel me so I can work on things and not have to think about, um, and not have to think about food. So, um, that's what I do. And then also some more, uh, um, healthy fats. You can do coconut oil and real butter. I do real butter with my eggs because real butter is so high in, um, it's, well, it's a good fat. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of us grew up thinking that real butter was bad for us, but it's actually a whole food. It's natural, you know? Um, so real butter is great and it's great. Um, it has vitamins and minerals. Most people don't know that. Butter is great in, um, in vitamin, different vitamins and minerals because it's um, it, it's an animal product and so whatever the animal is high in that's what butter is high in so I, it's, a lot of people don't know that um, so healthy fat and protein for breakfast or for your first meal so what do you guys think about this oh yes thank you Caroline you like this good what else do you have with your eggs other than carbs okay so I think I just told you like for me I do eggs I'll do a half of an avocado and a lot of and I'll do fresh berries most of the time and a lot of times it's raspberries because that's like just my favorite and that is a great um, blood sugar balancing meal because you're getting lots of protein some good healthy fat yeah and um, and you're getting a little bit of carbs in the berries um, but it's not spiking your blood sugar. So um, let's see some other things. You, a lot of times I'll make like a um, egg casserole or you can do it in those little muffin tins like the little 12 muffin thing and just put some eggs in there like mix it in a bowl. Eggs, cheddar cheese or feta cheese something like that and put lots of veggies in there peppers onions mushrooms whatever you like put it in there and and pour it in those muffin cups and that's something you can prep like I prep that and then I can have it through the whole week you know my kids can have it I can have it and it's something quick we can just heat up in the microwave for breakfast um, I, I do lots of eggs you know, because they're just like a superfood. Yeah, egg muffins. Um, and they're great prepping because you can reheat them and they're really good. Um, and then like Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is great. And throw some nuts and berries in there. And um, yeah, you can definitely freeze them. So uh, that's a great option. And, you know, you can make your own Greek yogurt or you can buy some sh like low sugar Greek yogurt. At the store and that's a great option for breakfast and you can throw nuts and berries in there um, and it's really good like the berries really sweeten it up so um, that's a great option and one other thing I wanted to add that people don't think about is um, they may be eating like eggs bacon sausage whatever they may be eating low carb or they may be eating high protein and they don't realize that actually what's keeping their blood sugar spiked like what's spiking it is their coffee creamer and a lot of people say well I use the sugar-free coffee creamer well if you're pre-diabetic or um, have some kind of insulin issues it may not even be um, some of those sugar-free products have the sugar substitutes in there and they can also spike you. They can spike your blood sugar and the, and the, um, the fats in there, like if it's uh, some kind of trans fat in there, that can spike you. And people don't know that just because it's sugar-free doesn't mean it's good for your blood sugar. Um, if it has some kind of hydrogenated oils in there, um, like palm oil, 
sunflower, safflower oil. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. There's all kind partially hydrogenated oils. It will say that. Um, then that can be spiking you. That can be causing inflammation. It can be causing your body to hold on to water and inflammation and raise your blood sugar. And so just that like little bit of creamer in your coffee could be the thing that's holding you back from your health goals. So you just have to look at those things. You have to look at your ingredients. You can't just look at the front of the label and see, oh, it's sugar free. You know, it's not going to spike my blood sugar. It can. Oh yeah, Angela makes her own homemade yogurt in the instant 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 pot. I love that idea. Yes. Um but yeah, look at your coffee creamer because if you're doing all these other things um and thinking you're eating uh you're eating for blood sugar balance or eating to lose weight and you're doing this one thing like uh, your coffee creamer in the morning, that may be what's holding you back from your goals. So just look at that because I do find that a lot and I used to do that too. I'm so guilty of that because I thought if it said sugar free, I could have it. And w the more you, um, cause I still, even though I'm not diabetic anymore, I still check my blood sugar on a regular, you know, like every now and then. Not as much as when I was diabetic, but I still, check in on it and if I add a different food or try a different food or product at the grocery store I will check my blood sugar and see how it reacts um, but I was doing that with the coffee creamer I thought if it was sugar free it was fine but what I didn't realize until I became more knowledgeable about like the hydrogenated oils um, the man-made oils and stuff and all and the the um, the sugar substitutes after I started reading up more on that I realized okay that could spike me too that could spike my blood sugar so we just have to look at all those things um, but anyway I hope this helped you I hope it was interesting I know I tend to you know ramble on because I could talk about this stuff all day long so um, I hope I didn't ramble too much but um, so if you're ready to dive deeper into the strategies to help you balance your blood sugar and um, have less cravings or just help you lose weight or improve your overall health, like whatever your health goals are, I have an offer for you. I offer a free 20 minute strategy call a habit change strategy call and this is not to sell you anything it's not uh, to um, do, to get you to sign up for my program or anything like that it's just because I'm passionate about helping other women struggling with this because I did I was there I've been there and I really want to help you I want to help you get insight on why you are having these habits why are you having these cravings let's dive deeper into that and let's figure out why this is happening and um, and I can give you some tools to help you start to change those habits and change um, change some lifestyle things so you can start to see um, changes in in your body and and hit the goals that you want to hit your health goals so if you are interested in in that in that strategy call I'm gonna leave a link in the comments to sign up for a strategy call and if you aren't quite ready for that um, just you can DM me and just let me know you'd like more information and we can chat about it in the DMs. We, you know, I can give you a little more um, information in the DMs if you just don't, you're not ready to sign up for a call because I understand, you know. Um, so anyway, yeah, click on that link and sign up for a call. If you're not ready, let me know. We can chat in the DMs and see, um, see where you're at. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you um, caught the replay, if you're catching the replay. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.